Hey all my Crimsonites and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel where we embrace our femininity, increase our womanly values, and celebrate our brothers. So join me on our feminine journey to learn, heal, and grow. Hey there, my Crimson Knights, and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel. I'm your host, femininity coach and author of the Crimson Cure, and this is my perspective. So we've got a little bit of something to discuss here, why no one can hold women accountable, not even other women of any age group or any relationship status, okay? And typically what goes on here is that there's, there's usually... Um, there's usually uh, the truth in the comments. It's always in the comment section for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you listen to this young lady speak. And then this comment right here, we're going to read that. And we're just going to talk about it. So uh, without further ado, here we go. And she's got a bit of language, okay? So just be aware of that. All right, here we go. I'm overdue. I'm tired of hearing pussy is power. It's, it's trash. Throw it out. It's a good billion good coochies out here. If your man gives you a blueprint and tells you, this is how I want you to love me. This is how I want you to tend to me, cater to me, nurture me, whatever, so that I could be content in this relationship. Why are you not listening? You don't go to a job and they give you the, do the job description and you fucking wing it. So why are you winging it in your relationship and expecting the man to, you know, be loyal to you? I'm confused. But you want a man to love you in your love language. Women need to stop that one-sided ish. I can't stand it. I don't, I don't like it. If you two choose to come together and y'all verbalize things, why not respect it? Don't you think that would make the, the relationship go much easier? It's like y'all make it harder and then you wonder why this man is unhappy. He told you what he wanted, Latasha. You didn't listen because you thought your pork chop was enough to keep him. It's a lot of pork chops out here. Do better. A discussion that's long overdue. Now, she was talking, and what she said was actually facts, okay? A lot of times these women, more often than not, nine times out of ten, women are on this one-sided, he's got to love me, he got to take me the way I am, you know, he's got to have this unconditional, undying love and, 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 and respect and infatuation and admiration for me. He needs to have stars in his eyes every time he looks at me, no matter what I'm doing, no matter what I'm not doing, no matter what's going on with me. No matter how naggy I am or whatever my imperfections or flaws are, he needs to not see them. He needs to be looking at me and overlooking all of that and, and only feeling this immense love in his heart for me. OK, so but you let's just say that's the way it's supposed to go. Then it's supposed to go the other way then. Right. A two way street. Correct. See, the reason that y'all don't listen is because half y'all think y'all y'all. um Look, the JJ is some type of good newsflash. Most of y'all have trash box. Let's just be real. Let's just start there. Most of y'all got trash box. Okay. That box is trash. It has been ran through, ran over, reversed on, speed bumped. Like it's done. It's done, done. Like stick a fork in it. It's done. Okay. It's trash. You had too many men in it. Too many babies done came out of it. Okay. You don't got the snap back that you think that you have. It didn't snap back. It eased back. You know what I'm saying? It stepped back gingerly. It did not snap. All right. So, so stop the cap. All right. And even if it was all that you said it was, even if it was all that you thought it was, it snapped back, blah, 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 blah. Whatever it is, whatever you think is a good description for your box. Okay, even if it is good, why why is that the only thing that matters in a relationship from your end as a woman? You all you got to do is show up and, you know, be good in bed, supposedly. And that's supposed to trump everything else that you do, everything that you don't do every time you don't listen to the things that he's saying that he wants from you. Now, when you take a look at the comment here, Hebrew rose gold, like stop the cap. 
The whole time she says the whole time she was talking, I was looking at her wedding ring finger and there was no ring there. So everything else was irrelevant. And it's such cap. It's such cap. I mean, that doesn't mean anything to you. That marriage doesn't mean anything to y'all. A woman being married, and I'm scrolling through, a woman being married doesn't mean anything to y'all because when a woman do show up with a ring on her finger, then y'all want to come with the whole, well, you just pandering and I would rather be single than to be in a relationship just to say I got a man because it's not the relationship is toxic and it ain't going right and da, 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 da. like any excuse. Any excuse to say this woman, what this woman is saying is irrelevant because she's not married. So everything that you say is irrelevant because you're not married, right? Correct. Everything you say is irrelevant when it comes to relationships because you ain't married and the statistics say you're not likely to get married because you're hard headed and masculine. Correct. So we shouldn't be listening to none of y'all about the condition of men and what the men are doing and how the men ain't nothing and how they out here acting a fool and blah, 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 blah. So nothing that you say is irrelevant, correct? Right, by that logic. By that logic. And that's what, it'd be the comments for me. It'd be the comments. Because y'all come through with these narratives that deny all accountability. So you must have saw something in you with what this young lady was saying. You must have seen some. You must have heard something that was you, uh, the hit dog, hollered. The women that she talking about is in the comment section. Right? This one here, I'm just saying women been catering to me and when. And that's one of the first things a woman learns as a child is how to cater. No. However, the real problem is when men don't listen how the women want to be loved and respected in the relationship in order for things to go smoothly. I.e., the men don't listen to how we want to run them and how we want to tell them what to do and how we want things to go 100% our way in the relationship. And when they don't make that happen, when they don't bend over backwards to do everything that we tell them that we want them to do and we tell them what what's what and they don't want to do it, then they're not listening to how we want to be loved because we don't really want to be loved. We want to be worshipped. Okay. And this is what I'm saying. Right. They don't want to hear nothing that this young lady got to say. They don't want to hear nothing that this young lady got to say because it hit home. Cause because they do think that theirs is the only box out here that he should want. And that he, this is the best he ever had. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. You don't really want these men to tell you where you rank. Okay, in terms of box ratings, you don't want no box rating. I guarantee you don't want no box rating. Okay, because a lot of y'all running around here overweight. You can't really perform in the bed. Let's talk about it. You overweight. You can't really perform in the bed. You know, you be out of breath. All kinds of stuff. He got to do all his work. Okay, each one of your legs is a whole... 100 pounds, he got to move that around, push that all around, and, and try to make you feel like you smaller than what you are when you're not. All right? You don't hardly want to do all that twerking you do and can't translate that to the bed. Let's talk about it. All that twerking you do, all that backing up on the dance floor, you cannot trans. you do not translate that to the bedroom. It is too many men out here with stories about how y'all not doing it right. And y'all swear to God that y'all whole porn stars out here. Everybody the throat goat. Everybody, all y'all ain't that. All y'all ain't that. Just because you give it up a whole lot don't mean it's good. Anyway, you know what? Never mind. Um, 
Jump down in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe to the channel if you have not. Once again, I'm your hostess, The Crimson Cure, and this was my perspective. Bye-bye, Crimsonites.